areas are critical to follow. They're in place to prevent accidents. News 10's Garrett Brown joins us now live near Woodrow Wilson Middle School. This school, like many others, are seeing too many people ignoring school zones, which is a real safety concern. Right, Garrett? Susie Woodrow Wilson has more than 800 students walk through these doors every morning. But a growing safety travel concern is people not paying attention and listening to the safety school zones. When kids are present, school zone speed limits must be followed. Here on 25th Street, that means the regular 30 mile per hour speed limit is dropped to 20. Woodrow Wilson wants this enforced. They don't want any of their students in harm's way. The 25th and Poplar, the uh, intersection there, a lot of uh, I don't want to say high speed traffic, but high speed avenues of approach, uh, people kind of get carried away sometimes and they just need to be reminded that, that there are kids present. This concern is not just for Woodrow Wilson, but for all schools in the county. I wanted to see this problem firsthand, so I rode along with Officer Jesse Chambers of the Terre Haute Police Department. He's one of the officers working the roads each morning enforcing school zone speed limits. Officer Chambers says motorists are breaking the law and it's his job to see that they don't. Yes, we're out here trying to keep the kids safe. I mean, I mean, I, I, I couldn't imagine what, a, what would happen, what would, somebody goes through their mind when they hit a, a small child. I mean, I just, it, it's all we're trying, we're trying to prevent that from happening. That's the whole goal. Now at the top of the hour, I'll go to more details with my ride along with the Terre Haute Police. I'll also tell you how many tickets are given out each morning when it comes to school violations. Reporting live at Woodrow Wilson in Terre Haute, I'm News 10's Garrett Brown. Back to you.